Legends tell of six Toa heroes who fought evil and faded away into history. But legends never die and they shall rise again. Now the Toa have returned to fight evil. United they stand, destined to find the masks of power in order to fulfill their duty to protect the island of Okoto. This is Bionicle Week. Day 1. Tahu, the Master of Fire and the Protector of Fire. Hello, this is Sandat here, and welcome to Bionicle Week. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Bionicle franchise, and I have been for many years. But, unfortunately, the uh, previous Bionicle line did end before I started doing YouTube reviews. Um, except, you know, Bionicle Stars came out while I was doing reviews, but we don't talk about that. Anyways, Bionicle is alive again. The series was brought back from the cancelled toy line list of LEGO lines, and is now coming back for a 2015 run, with all new figures and new story. It's basically a reboot. And, luckily, ran into these at my Toys R Us on uh, Christmas Eve, and have the whole set of the first wave of the new Bionicle sets. So, without further ado, I decided to make a theme week out of it. Today we'll be taking a look at Tahu, the Master of Fire, and the Protector of Fire. I want to do these together. The Protector sets are, are smaller sets, and so I don't feel like making 13 videos would make it easy on you guys. I thought, let's condense it. We'll put a Toa and a Protector together in one video. We'll also uh, briefly show off this clear Tahu mask given out at New York Comic Con, and we'll talk about that. So... Uh, first things first, I do want to talk about the packaging, as I think it is absolutely awesome. Uh, instead of having canisters like we've had in the past Bionicle lines, these are nice boxes. Uh, everything's bagged up inside, so no worry about losing pieces. Uh, you can see Tahu is 89 pieces. He is a larger set. There are three $20 Toa, uh, then four $15 sets, and then six $10 sets. Um, so he is one of the more expensive sets, but as you can see... Shows a golden mask of power here on a pedestal, like a green skull spider, which he concludes both. Uh, Tahu here riding his lava board. Very nice artwork. I do like it, um, and I like the mask of creation up here with the Bionicle logo. It is just so cool that Bionicle is back again. And anyways, the boxes work nice. They're, they're relatively sturdy. I mean, they hold the part and such. Uh, so really neat. And then the protector boxes as well. Um, the Protector of Fire here, he's 63 pieces. Uh, you can see here comes with the Green Skull Spider as well. Uh, on the back, it just kind of shows how his gun works and his combination. And he does have a little hook, so he can be hung on shells, uh, or on pegs, instead of just having to be on a shelf like this guy. So that's pretty neat. Alright, so first of all, we're going to take a look at Tahu, the Master of Fire. Uh, we're looking at him first because he is kind of the leader of the Toa of sorts. Uh, he's always been portrayed as the head guy. The one they market the most, and the fire element does take the most prominence in the web animation so far. Um, before we begin, the instruction books are nice and big. They're not curled either because of the boxes, which is nice. And there is this neat little comic featured showing Tahu fighting against the Skull Spiders, getting his mask and such, in a little bit of a different way than it happened in the uh, animation. Anyways, the build for the figure was surprisingly complicated. Um, there's a lot of, of really cool things and, and great little promotional material in the back here, uh, including the combined mode and the advertising of this app that is not yet available. But I'm looking forward to it coming out. So, like I said, the build was very, uh, it wasn't too hard, but it did actually have some complexity as I wasn't expecting, especially with the shoulders. And so, with that, we'll talk about the figure. The base figure without any weapons here looks quite fantastic. So the Mask of Fire here looks very distinctive. It is very reminiscent of the original Kinoe Howe. Um, it looks really nice. And what was actually surprising was the way that the masks are removed. You can press this little switch back here, and it knocks the mask right off, um, which is pretty neat. Plus, there is an actual sculpted robot face underneath. Uh, the masks do clip in with two clips on either side this time as opposed to the uh, the connection through the mouth. Anyways, other than that, you got this nice tampograph piece here. Luckily, not a sticker. 
He's got double shoulder armor. He's got gold armor. The $20 Toa sets have gold armor, while the $15 ones have silver. I can see his hips are a little, uh, a little thin here um, in the overall look, uh, his, but his, his, his legs are beefed out a little bit, and these are just the chest piece uh, reused there. So, overall, really neat looking. Uh, love how they've got to fill out some of the stuff they learned from Hero Factory. But this figure is quite articulated. First of all, you do have a ball joint. Well, these are all ball joints, but the neck is ball jointed. Um, you got shoulder movement. Uh, it can move left and right, up and down, so it's on a ball joint there. Elbows as well. The armor doesn't impede too much. Uh, same with the wrists there. The hips actually move pretty well. The knees have a nice deep bend to them, and the feet also have uh, ball joints to them. And in a surprising twist of fate, uh, they've added the gear system back into Bionicles, um, which appeared in the original Toa sets, but they removed it for articulation purposes. But now we actually have a gear system back that you can move his arms when you turn the gear. What's cool is that they added in uh, secondary gears so you can actually move the arms however you like, and it's not going to fall under the weight of the weapon. Um, it works really, really well. Um, for posing. So it is articulated in addition to having that cool action feature. Um, and the way they engineered the shoulders allows the shoulder pads to move with them, which is much appreciated. Now this guy really can't do much on his own without his own weapons. And much like the Toa Nuva, his weapons have two forms, which is pretty neat. First of all, you do get these gold swords um, here, which allow him to be able to fight off skull spiders. Really neat looking. Uh, they work really well. They're they're pretty neat, um, and they go in conjunction with his main weapon, which is the surfboard made up of these two swords. And it's not really a weapon, more so as he has a surfboard here, and as you can see, it looks really nice, all connected together, much like Toa Lecon's board, uh, more so than Ta uh, Tahu Nuva's was. But you just peg on with the pegs there, and you can get some cool lava surfing uh, poses out of him like that, which is super cool. Now, as seen in the OEB animations, when he gets his golden mask of power, um, he does allow his weapons to go into a second configuration. And that's, first of all, we need to swap out into his golden mask. And this golden mask here, it's a very nice gold color, matches the armor. So we just remove his regular mask, plug on the gold mask like that. Take his two swords here, uh, they will actually peg in, there's little pegs here uh, for them to peg in like this. They are articulate in some way, so you can keep them down or you can keep them up. Uh, the web animations are showing them sticking out of his back, and the CGI trailer is showing them down on his back. Uh, so for simplicity's sake, we'll just fold them down. And then this allows Tahu, now that he is the master of fire, uh, to be able to use his surfboard as a couple big swords. And all you gotta do here is just slide it into his hands like that. And now he's got two big swords and the gears allow him to swing those, which is super cool. So overall, Tahu is pretty neat as a as, as the first Toa to get, um, as most people are picking up Tahu as they see him. He is the iconic leader of the Toa of sorts. And he is pretty cool uh, overall. What makes him cooler is that he did have a special edition mask released at New York Comic Con. This is limited to 1,500 units, was given away at the convention. And I got one thanks to the LEGO Twitter account running a contest that I won um, to win this, goal, this, uh, this exclusive clear Tahu mask. So just to panic all the collectors out there that want these things sealed forever, I'm going to open it up here and take a look at the clear mask. So it's the same exact mold, it's just cast in clear plastic this time, which means we take Tahu, remove his gold mask here, and give him this super cool clear mask like that. And it's got a cool look to it, kind of like the... Kind of like an invisibility mask of sorts, but you kind of see the robot face underneath. It looks really neat. Uh, just It kind of looks like a clear veil. It's not a well-defined shape. It's, it's actually really neat. I like it overall. 
So yeah, Tahu's great. So how is his friend, the Protector of Fire? All right, so here we have the Protector of Fire. Now, the Protectors in the Bionicle 2015 universe are the Village Elders. They've learned things from their parents. Um, they are the oldest of the village, but they are not old people. Uh, unlike the Turaga, who could barely fight back, the Protectors are armed with Gatling guns. In fact, Mr. Protector of Fire here normally wears a cloak in the web animations until he revealed that he was packing heat, not a hunchback. Anyways, the whole purpose behind the Protectors is to be smaller sets uh, and it, it add to the Toa. They're their guides through their journey, uh, they're the Protectors, and, you know, they're, they're, they're the village elders. They're the wise ones. They're not the uh, standard villagers. But as you can see, Protector Fire here is pretty neat. He has a mask here, and his mask is the uh, same mask as the other Protectors. They all share a mask mold, but his is more fire designed, which is super cool. Now he features the same head as Tahu. Uh, all the Bionicle sets so far have featured this head, except for the Lord of Skull Spiders for obvious reasons. Um, he's also got some really sweet chest armor built up here. And what was surprising was that each of the protectors is built almost entirely differently, um, which is pretty cool. Now up here he's got this Gatling gun, but you know, it can move back and forth, and it's on a ball joint. And he's got ball joint shoulders, and he's got uh, wrist elbows. He doesn't really have elbow joints. He's kind of just got the wrist movement. Uh, the ball joint head, the hips, the knees, and the ankles. So this guy can get in some wide variety of poses, especially since his gun can move wherever he needs it to go. But in addition to his Gatling cannon thing that I don't think has properly gotten a name, he does get two additional weapons. They're kind of fire things. I don't really know what else to call them. They're just kind of there. Um, they're placed here. They can swing down. Kind of like having them sweeped back. I don't really know what these are supposed to be. Um, they could be flamethrowers with the fire effect to them. They could be anything really. All I know is that they are behind his hands, which is super awkward, and they flip forward. And honestly, he doesn't really need them because he has a six-barreled cannon. Speaking of that six-barreled cannon, uh, it has a little gear on the back that allows you to turn and fire these little bullets. And these bullets are just Lego studs in several colors, or in multitudes here, but in several colors for each of the protectors. And luckily, they do give you quite a few extras. As you can see there, I have the extra set of ammo. Because these things are so tiny, and they can get lost very fast. So you just turn them here, and they go flying. And there went one just right off the backboard. And there went one there. So you get the idea. It's a great concept. It kind of works a lot better than the Kordak blasters of the Maori Nui characters. But... It, it does have the problem of, I just lost one of these things, and I had to replace it with one of the extras they gave me. I think the cannon idea is cool. It's a cool concept, but unfortunately, it does cause problems as they get lost very easily, um, which is unfortunate. But, Protector of Fire is pretty cool. Now, overall, Tahu and the Protector of Fire are really cool sets on their own, but they do have a combining ability of sorts, so let's see, how do Protahu and the Protector combine? Alright, so here is the powered up Tahu Master of Fire. Now basically what happens is that you take your Protector, you move his weapons, and move them over to the Toa. That's pretty much what the power up modes are. Um, now the building instructions are on lego.com slash bionicle. They are not included with the box. Uh, I would have liked to have seen maybe the... Half the instructions come with him, and half the instructions come with him. I mean, you're going to have to own both of them anyways. But, I will say it does leave off uh, one shoulder pad of Tahu, so there is that. We'll just give it to Protector of Fire over here, who has an empty ball joint. Yay, now he has a weird armor piece in his back. But I do like I can have the Protector on its own. It doesn't dismantle too much, and it's just kind of an extra mode. And it is pretty nice. I like the idea of the double bladed sword. Him using the surfboard again is pretty sweet. Um, I do like the look of that. 
and the weird fire things are back and there's really no real purpose to them and that's about it now here are the skull spiders each set comes with one except for lord of skull spiders because he is one Anyways, as you can see, they are little spiders. Now, they are basically just masks with legs, but you can see it's a neat mask design. Both uh, Tahu and the Protector of Fire have green ones. Now, the legs are removable if you want just a standard mask. They just pop right off, um, like that. So you get the little mask there. Or you can have them with legs. They are pretty neat. I like the concept behind them because they are able to possess creatures, much like the Krana that came with the Borok. Uh, way back during the Borok saga. So the idea is that these skull spiders knock a mask off of a uh, a bionicle and then possess them, basically clipping in as a mask and then you can even have them grab onto the head and never letting go. Because even when you hit the switch, they still are holding on. It's a really neat thing. Uh, I'm hoping it plays into the storyline a bit and they don't just forget that they can possess uh, the villagers, but, you know, it looks pretty neat. It does remind me of the Krana, again. Um, I think they're really cool, and you get quite a lot of these if you have all the first wave. You get a total of 12 uh, little ones. So, in conclusion, Tahu, Master of Fire, is our first new Toa. He is the start of the 2015 Bionicle line for me, and I gotta say, he is fantastic. He is a great evolution of the line. He takes everything that's good about Bionicle, the interesting gear system, the cool designs and characters, mixes it with some of the elements of Fero Factory, the less spiny designs, giving him a little bit more bulk and heft, making him looking a little bit more humanoid, and then just improves on all of that and makes what is a great action figure in addition to being a good Lego set. Having a Skull Spider out of the box just makes the whole experience even better. Now, the Protector of Fire, on the other hand, is not as strong. The lack of elbows really kind of hurts his overall look. He looks very stumpy. The shoulder cannon with the Gatling gun feature is cool in concept, but because the bullets are the little Lego uh, studs, they get lost very easily. Unless, you know, if Lego hadn't included an extra set of them, I probably wouldn't have a full barrel on that guy most of the time. And I'm afraid that kids are going to lose those little Lego studs because they are so tiny. Um, I really kind of wish they would have done what they did with the Kordak blasters, having the long missiles. Those worked out better for not losing the pieces as easily. So overall, these two sets are great, uh, but Tahu is the one to get. Protector of Fire is who you get if you're more of a Bionicle completionist. The character develops really interestingly into something super cool, um, or if you just want a $10 little action figure set. But he's not totally necessary, and the power-up mode is not that exciting. So, that is day one. We've taken a look at the two fire element bionicles. Next time, we'll go to the other side of the spectrum and take a look at the Master of Ice and the Protector of Ice. So stay tuned for tomorrow. Anyways, be sure to check out HeroTalkie.com for all your LEGO news and more. Until next time, sound the same. Goodbye.